Welcome back to Homelem Networks, my name is AJ, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install Plex in your home lab. So first off, log into your server. We need to create a virtual machine that's going to run Linux Ubuntu Live Server, or your distro of choice. Plex. So choose your storage. Make sure you have the live server downloaded and uploaded to Proxmox. Could, um, if you want to, also do this in a container on Proxmox, but I just prefer the virtual machine. A lot of this will just be default, so just keep clicking next. That's fine. I'll also give it two cores. Memory's fine. I'll be using this to stream and upload videos to make sure you upgrade your memory. And I like the changes to the network card. Once your machine has booted up, we'll go through the install process to get this installed. So, English. Done. Yes. It's going to give it an IP address of 132. Skip the proxy address. Skip. So, just uh, hit spacebar and select using entire disk. Unless you want to partition it. Done. Continue. Name your server. Pick your username. I just keep mine all, all mine the same. I, I, I advise don't do that, but I'm just lazy create a password. Now this will be the password you use to SSH into your server. Done. Install open SSH server so we can putty into it. And click done. I, I like to use putty to do this task but use any SSH programming you're comfortable with. So host name. Always just write an A update. I'll have these webs these websites in the de description. These commands. So we're just gonna copy and paste these two, then install Plex, and then if it goes to plan it should work. So we'll grab the first one. We'll go and grab the second one. And then we want to sudo apt install plex media server, no spaces. sudo snap install plex media server. From here on, on in it should download and install fine. Just by putting the same IP address as your server and then we're going to go colon and port number is 32400 slash web to get to, to get to the web interface for Plex. You have Plex in your home layer. You got it? For the moment, we'll just exit out of this. You give it a name. All right, and then you, and there you have it. So guys, that's how you install Plex in your home lab to have your own media server. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next home lab video.